When finding the second derivative of a function such as f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x all over 3x plus 5, I sometimes find that the algebra, not the calculus, is the hardest part of the problem. Let's find the second derivative of this function and see if you agree with that statement. To find the first derivative of f of x, I'll use the quotient rule, which states that the derivative of f of x is the denominator unchanged times the derivative of the numerator, which will be 3x plus 5 times the derivative of 2x squared plus 3x, which is 4x plus 3, minus the numerator unchanged, 2x squared plus 3x, times the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of the denominator, 3x plus 5, is just 3. And this is all over the original denominator, 3x plus 5, squared. So we, here we do have the first derivative already, but now I'm going to have to go through the process of simplifying the numerator in this case. To simplify this numerator, I'll first multiply 3x plus 5 times 4x plus 3 which results in 12x squared plus 9x plus 20x plus 15. And then I'll distribute not only 3 times the quantity of 2x squared plus 3x, but also the negative. In effect, I'm distributing negative 3 through the quantity of 2x squared plus 3x. This results in negative 6x squared minus 9x. The denominator, 3x plus 5 to the second power, I'm going to leave unchanged. And my final step to find this first derivative will be to collect like terms in the numerator. In the numerator, I have 12x squared minus 6x squared, which is 6x squared. I have 9x plus 20x minus 9x. That's plus 20x. And then there's one term, which is a constant, plus 15. The first derivative of f of x is 6x squared plus 20x plus 15, all over 3x plus 5 to the second power. Now, before I begin the process of finding this second derivative, I'm going to take a minute and realize that the denominator, 3x plus 5 squared, it's the same thing as 3x plus 5 times 3x plus 5, which has a product of 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. And at different points, as I go through the quotient rule to find this second derivative, instead of writing 3x plus 5 to the second power for the denominator, I'm going to refer to 9x squared plus 30x plus 25, because those two expressions are identical, and sometimes it will be easier to work with the polynomial 9x squared plus 30x plus 25 instead of 3x plus 5 squared. The derivative of 6x squared plus 20x plus 15 over 3x plus 5 squared will be the second derivative of the original function f of x. And it is the denominator unchanged times the derivative of the numerator. And the denominator unchanged, I'm going to use 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. And the derivative of the numerator, the derivative of 6x squared plus 20x plus 15, is 12x plus 20. So that's the denominator times the derivative of the numerator, the first term in the numerator of the derivative. After the minus sign, after the minus sign, I'm going to take the numerator unchanged, 6x squared plus 20x plus 15, times the derivative of the denominator. And when I take the derivative of the denominator, again, I'm going to refer to the polynomial version of the denominator and take the derivative of 9x squared, 18x, plus 30x, 30, plus 25, whose derivative is 0. The derivative of the denominator is 18x plus 30. This is all over the square of the denominator. Well, the denominator was 3x plus 5 squared, and I will square that.
Now in the next line, I'm going to take advantage of something that will happen just about every time you take the derivative, the second derivative, I should say, of a fraction of this form. And that is, between 12x and 20, the two terms in the derivative of the original denominator, there's a common factor of 4. And if I would take a 4 out to the front of 12x plus 20, I'm left with 3x plus 5. Additionally, if I take a look at the derivative of the denominator, 18x plus 30, there's also a common factor there. And that common factor is 6. And if I factor a 6 out of 18x plus 30, I would be left with 3x plus 5 again. This is exactly what I was left with when I factored a 4 out of 12x plus 20. And it's also the exact expression that I find in the denominator, which, once I square it and square it again, is raised to the fourth power. Because those are exactly the same, in the numerator, I'm going to take this 3x plus 5 factor that I see before and after the minus sign, and I'm going to factor it the entire way out to the front of the numerator, the whole way out to the front of the numerator. And what I'm left with is 4 times 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. I'll write the 4 in front of the quantity, 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. And after the minus sign, if I'm factoring 3x plus 5 out to the front, all I'm left with is the 6. And the 6x squared plus 20x plus 15. Once this 3x plus 5 is factored out to the front, it's a little easier to see that I can cancel it out with the 3x plus 5 to the fourth in the denominator. The 3x plus 5 in the numerator is going to cancel out with one of the factors of 3x plus 5 in the denominator. So you'll be left with 3x plus 5 to the third power in the denominator. Now, all that's left to do to simplify this second derivative is to simplify the numerator. I'll distribute the 4 through the quantity of 9x squared plus 30x plus 25 to get 36x squared plus 120x plus 100. And then I'll distribute negative 6 through the quantity of negative 36, or through the quantity of 6x squared plus 20x plus 15, and get negative 36x squared minus 120x minus 6 times 15, which is 90. All over 3x plus 5 to the third power. This means all I have left to do is combine like terms in the numerator. Well, I have 36x squared minus 36x squared. Those are 0. I have positive 120x and negative 120x. Those are also 0. The second derivative of f of x equals 100 minus 90, or 10, over 3x plus 5 to the third power.